Today we took a family that had been trapped by DWR at the Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge. And they were released into the West Fork of the Black Fork River. They came to our facility one by one. It turns out that we have a family and that's what we're after when we start trapping in an area. And the intent is that they will create some beautiful riparian habitat somewhere where they choose to live on this river. It's a win-win-win, so we're saving the beavers, keeping their family intact as much as possible, um, and putting them in an area where they can restore habitat. Once they get to our facility in Millville, we have pens set up with water and huts so that it's kind of a makeshift lodge. And we clean those pens every day. They monitor temperature, monitor the health. The beavers are kind of checked in when they arrive, <laughs> kind of like a hotel. We check our little guests in and we weigh them, just make sure they're in good condition, determine the sex, put a pit tag in their tail, and they stay with us for three days. And that's mandatory quarantine time, just to make sure they're as healthy as possible and they're not transmitting diseases to another water system. We do this every summer from snow melt till about October and we try to keep our pens filled. There's a need for us to remove nuisance beavers, and there's a big need for riparian restoration with beavers. They create an amazing ecosystem. You have your, your stream habitat, you may have some degraded habitats, but when they get in there and do their engineering work, they create uh, this environment that's conducive for macro invertebrates and waterfowl and moose and fish, and it just creates an ecosystem that wasn't there before. They minimize the effects of drought and fire damage. I mean, it, it's, it's conservation at its best, and, and it is that win-win-win.